anointing you can get it by three ways number one by association and that means you're going to be in the same place uh, you're going to be in the same place with the anointed Uh, if you are in the same place with the anointed, you catch the anointing. Number two, you get it by submission. You submit under the anointing. Because the anointing comes from the head through the beard of Aaron. So, if Aaron was holding a baby, the baby would be receiving the anointing. Then those would be at his knees. So you get the anointing by submission. The third part is what we always ignore. The anointing, you can get it by serving it. By serving it. Or by sowing in it. Uh, serving is a seven-pronged area. Seven areas. And one of it is physical serving. The anointing. And uh, if you hold a bag of the anointed person, uh, Elisha, Elisha did that. He did three. He submitted. He associated. And he served. That's why he got a double spirit of the anointing. Simon Peter submitted, served, and sold. Remember when he gave a sea, a boat, when he gave his life, Jesus said, you shall receive a hundredfold now and a hundredfold in the life to come. So people who have received more anointing, they have done the three. Of course, if you do one, you'll get Whatever. But if the anointing is, is triune, then I, a third is also anointing. Two thirds is better. But three on three is greater. Three on three is greater. So, as we finish this conference, we want to do the three. We want to we want to submit and we want to sow. Serve, submit, and sow. There is enough anointing in this room. I saw the team from Rwanda when they were bringing gifts here. I said, Oh my Lord, the, 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 you are teaching us another level we didn't know before. You are teaching us another level we did not know before. Come on, somebody, clap your hands to Jesus. You are teaching us another level. The, uh, when, when you study the history of the Bible, you saw even Jesus Christ was sat in the temple and he watched people when they were giving. So giving causes Jesus to stand there and watch. I said giving. Do you hear me over there? If you hear me, come and wave your hand. Okay. Giving, causing Jesus to stand still and watch. Jesus did not come to see kangaroos or the lions. He didn't come to watch anything else. He came to watch the givers. the givers. If you give your life to Jesus, he comes and lives in you. If you give your life or service to him, he will be with you. Watch what I say. If I give my life to Jesus, he will come and live in me. If I serve him, he will be with me from in to with. 
But if I give him my substance, now I am with him. And, and, and those, those are three different levels. He actually said, I and my father we shall come and dwell in you. Because he said, I'll give you a hundredfold here and a hundredfold to come. So giving, is, you never learn how to give. You are challenged to give you never learn how to give you are challenged to give and this evening and I believe we've been challenged the way the people of Rwanda give I know all of you were looking at it and said huh? a woman with an alabaster box they were seated eating she would have called Jesus by secret. This woman would have talked to Mary, the mother of Jesus. It is always convenient to do the normal way. But the supernatural extra God loves extra surprises. I know you've been clapping your hands this morning. But, but this God we serve is a God of surprises. And he loves surprises. And, and, and this woman would have gone through the way of women. And she would have said, Hey, Mama Mary, Mama, Mama Jesus, Mama wa Yesu. I have something to give to your son. I don't have uh, much. I'm not a woman of repute. No one knows my name. I'm, I'm just a woman, but I, can you take him this for me? No, she walked in state. She came with her as precious perfume. And I believe the disciples of Jesus would have said, come on, stay away. Don't, don't get to Jesus. He's too tired. And by the way, he was eating. You don't mix perfume in food. But probably that's the most important moment. When everybody is busy, going for chickens and fish, you go for Jesus. Uh, as a You better clap better than that. So, uh, she chose the right moment. And, and by the way, her giving was so powerful. That's why they said it was, it was better than any other perfume. Because it was competing with a smell of food. Uh, you all know fried, uh, fried fish. Uh, you all know fried chicken. Uh, what kind of perfume are you going to bring that is going to compete with the smell of the Jewish lamb which has been roasted for a whole day? The spices, the onions, the everything. Her perfume surpassed all that smell. Child of God, this evening, our giving is going to surpass everything which is around. You clap for, you don't clap like that for God. You clap for home. So the, the, the issue is, you never learn how to give. You are always challenged to give. And you must seize the moment. And nobody's going to say now is your right time. But your seed will make room for you. I said your seed will make room for you. 
So we are going to combine our tithe, our offerings, our seeds, our everything today. Proverbs 18:16 says, A man's gift maketh room for him and bringeth him before great men or great people. It is the seed that will give you a VIP treatment. How many of you want to be invited on special occasions? But yet nobody knows your name. A seed will open a door for you. I said a seed will open a door for you. That's why every time you sow a seed, something incredible opens. Something happens. Have you ever realized <laughs> a seed is the only thing that opens up life? A seed is the only thing that opens up life. The other thing adds to life. What opens up life is a seed. That's why when we saw our seeds today, there is a new life that is going to be open for you. Like I said, you never become an expert in giving. But always you are challenged. You are challenged to give. God is a giver. He gave everything we see. I mean, he gave the trees, the rivers. He created the heaven and the earth. But he was challenged. I called him. And I said, have you seen my daughter preaching? And he said, that's my wife. So uh, the, the whole world is watching. Pastor Jessica was preaching Pastor earlier Jessica. on. How, how, do you, how do you walk out of this anointing? Oh, from, from Pastor Jessica to Pastor Jessica, how, how do you go through Minyon? this place no, it without sowing a seed? Not a cigar. Because we need seeds for our daughters. I mean, we need the anointing for our daughters. You need them for your wife. You, you, you need to walk into a level you've never walked before. So each one of us stand up on our feet and treasure your seed. Treasure your seed. This seed is going to open up a life for you. This seed is going to take you to a level you've never gone before. This woman with an alabaster box. Do you know what Jesus said about her? He said, whatever the gospel will be preached. And I know those of you watching by television, you can use your MTN code. You can use your Momo pay. Your Airtel code. You can use your PayPal. But this is what Jesus said. A woman who fruked the food at dinner time and she sneaked in with a seed. I say unto you, whatever this gospel, whenever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also be a remembrance of this woman and what she has done. Stand up on your feet, everyone. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I come today with my seed. There's something I want in life. It is just the second month of 2024. I'm determining the end of the year. I'll be great. I'll be blessed. I'll be anointed. Lord, my seed speaks to the circumstances that I'm going through right now. I love you, Lord. I bless your name. Honor my seed with a great harvest in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. You can bring your seed and you can bless it anywhere you can bless it. In Jesus' name. And just talk to the Lord. Tell him what you want. At this moment, one or two moments. While those who are online are still giving. Come on, just open up your heart. Open up your heart. 
Talk to the Lord. What a day. What a powerful moment. What an hour. What a moment. What a season. What a beginning of the year. Lord God of Abraham, release your favor. Release your anointing. Release your mercy. Release your grace. Lord, we thank you. The anointing is available. You brought these mothers of nations. You brought people from this country to ignite a fire all over Africa. To ignite a fire over this nation. To ignite a fire over the world. Lord, I pray that you touch every single woman. You touch every single girl. You touch every single man. You touch every single business. Every single marriage. Every single life. May your peace prevail. May your healing take place. Lord, we thank you. Father, we tap into the anointing which you have bestowed upon your servants. My Father, as we take territory, may you help every woman here to take territory in the name of Jesus. To take territory. Come on, open your voice. It's time to take territory. Take territory in your area, in your home, in your family, in your business. Take territory. Rabosete redoshe. Come on, take territory in Uganda, in Kenya, in Zimbabwe, in Rwanda, in Burundi, in South Sudan, in East Africa, in West Africa, South Africa, in Central Africa, in North Africa. Come on, take territory. Take territory. Psalms 2 said, ask me of the nations. I'll give them to you for your inheritance. Let the Lord give you territory. Let him give you territory. Call it out. Call it out. Speak it out. Speak it out. Speak it out. Speak it out. Our God is mighty. He's a God who gives territory. He's a God who releases life. The anointing is coming on you. The favor is increasing on you. The power of God is everywhere. Oh, glory, glory, glory. The Lord is opening door, doors for you. I see it in the spirit. There is a will wind of the Holy Ghost. There is a will wind of the power. There is a will wind of the anointing. It is moving to you. It's moving where you are. It is going to affect your children and your children's children. It is touching your business. It's touching your home wherever you are. In the mighty name of Jesus. The son of the living God. Come on, take territory. Take territory. Take territory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, pray. Come on, speak to principalities. Come on, speak to circumstances. Come on, speak to the situation. Come on, in the name of Jesus. The anointing has been demonstrated all day today. Tap into that anointing. Tap into that anointing. Tap into that anointing. Heavenly Father, we give you praise and glory. We thank you for miracles. We thank you for the deliverance. We thank you for the blessing. We thank you for the grace. We thank you for life. We thank you for signs and wonders. We thank you for what you are doing. Lord, you are touching everyone. You are ministering to everyone. Those who came sick, you are healing them. Those who came disturbed, you are giving them peace. Those who brought them lost, you are drawing them to the Lord. Those who have no money in 24 hours, you are changing every circumstance. Those who came with burdens, you are lifting them up. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, by your power and your grace, you are here, Lord. You are touching everyone. You are ministering to everyone by the grace of God, by the power 
child of God. Yesterday, today, and forever. You are the same. I decree and declare. These people are blessed. These people are healed. These people are protected. These people are governed. These people are filled. These people are touched. These people are your vessels. We are tapping into the anointing to possess the land to take May the Lord give you territories. May the Lord give you territories. May the Lord give you territories. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, the anointing is here. The anointing is here. The anointing is here. The grace is here. The life is here. Thank Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, lift your hand and worship the Lord. 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 He's mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. The Lord is here. His grace is here. His anointing is here. Your life your womb is being blessed your womb is being blessed your womb is being blessed in the name of Jesus your hands are being blessed in the name of Jesus your back is being blessed in the name of Jesus the steps of the righteous are ordered by God in the name of Jesus you will never Never lack anything. You will never lack anything. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Today is your day. Come on, step up. Step in. Get in. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Let the glory of the Lord be revealed to you. Let the anointing of God be revealed to you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody's neck is being healed. In Jesus' mighty name. You can came here with a terrible neck. The Lord is healing you. Yes, Every pain that has been on you on oh, your Lord shoulders. Lord. The Lord is healing you. In Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. Somebody came here. There was a growth in your breast. You have a condition. Only you and the doctors know it. You've been worried about your health, about your well, your, your, your livelihood. The Lord is healing you. The Lord is touching you. The Lord is ministering to you. Oh, receive it, receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Somebody suffering from migraine headaches. The Lord is healing you. Some of you here today, you have got osteoporosis. Oh. Your, 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 your bones are, are breaking up. Your, leg, your bones are breaking up. Trust the Lord today. Trust the Lord today. Trust the Lord today. Whether you are on television, whether you are at home, the Lord is healing you. The Lord is restoring you. Somebody's eye is being healed. In Jesus' mighty name. Someone you, 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 you are either watching by TV or you are here. Just start praising the Lord. No matter what condition you have, no matter what situation you have, the Lord is healing you. The Lord is blessing you. Somebody has been believing God to go somewhere to go somewhere and receive a particular authorization. You've tried everywhere. You've not been able to receive that document. You need uh, uh, to go somewhere. 
But the Lord says unto you, stay in the anointing until Friday. Monday, the door will be open for you. And you'll be able to go and receive that authorization in the name of Jesus. Somebody has been believing God for a particular amount of money. But everywhere you've been blocked. And I don't know who is supposed to give you the money. But under the anointing, I command him in 24 hours to release that money. By the grace of God, by the power of God, lift your hands, everyone. Say, we are here to take territories in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Shout hallelujah seven times.